Hi beloved friends, we are back from our months long vision quest in the Pyrenees and I must say we've been back about five days now and I thought at the beginning that I'd we'd be back and it'd be like a big fanfare and fireworks going off and bunting being raised but I must say we've come back and I think I'm right in saying we both feel a little bit quiet, mm. a little bit insular, a little bit, as David White would say, easing into the conversation. So, yes, that's just to, just to let you know, we're at the end of our emails and our texts and we're totally plugged back into the matrix again. So if any of you were waiting for some sort of reply from me, expect it real soon now. Yeah, um, what a month. Um, what we experienced was that as, as my beard grew longer, the recognition of how many things I, we take for granted in our modern lives. You know, we, ha we didn't have even cold running water at one point because the, the water supply pipes froze. So we didn't even have water, which meant we had to go down to the village, which was a 30, 45 minute hike downhill on a ridge in winter, in snow, to get to five litre bottles of water that we had with us, filled up from the local kind of fountain. Um, so everything we did had to be fetched. The firewood had to be fetched. We had to be organized. So every little thing every morsel of food, every mouthful of water or tea, we, we had to fetch resources for that. And that was a real kind of grounding into how much our modern lives are you know, very much taken for granted. And it's nice to come back to basics. And our days and nights were con simply, what time is it? Oh, it's dark or it's light. That was the, we didn't take watches. Um, and once once it got dark, there wasn't any way of writing or reading or anything. So we're often in bed really early. And amazing chats and great connection between us. Um, really deep chats. Yeah. Um, and not for everyone, but I think it would be good for everyone to do that kind of thing at least once in their lives. But I hope we do it every year. So. I noticed that on the very last day, on the very last walk, there was a moment when we were saying goodbye to the mountains. Ow, oh, I've just lost the top of my finger. Um, and I realised that I'd absolutely found myself again, exactly how I remembered myself to be when I was like 12 or something. I was suddenly a worry-less, anxiety-less, easeful being before adulthood and all of its responsibilities had kicked in. So it took about a month to get there and I guess I'm nursing that part of me very closely to my chest right now because that part is very tender and very beautiful and I, I really wish to be able to sustain that beautiful, joyful, easy state of being with and without dog yes <laughs> and um, yeah. I found the whole thing rather easy to kind of slide into despite all the you know we don't have this and we don't have that and we've now just lost this and we've now just lost that we also had a puncture and we had to uh, oh one percent of reception left on the mobile and with that one percent we had to phone for help <coughs> in in non-french because we don't speak french very well but it all worked out mm. and that was absolutely part of the vision quest mm. um there were a few times when we sat in the candlelight saying to myself saying to ourselves what if this is it what if this is that you know end of the world moment and being absolutely, utterly at peace with all of that. And of course in the Vision Quest there was a few very big uh, news events, like the fires in Ojai, 
and the volcano in Bali, knowing people there dearly, um, and, and, and feeling, you know, those changes in the earth affecting communities and, you know, we're being told that there might be much, much more of this. And so asking ourselves, where are we with all of that, you know? Do we have regrets? Is there unfinished business? Is there loose ends that need tying up? Should we depart soon and unexpected? So lots of love going out to those people who did lose their homes in Ojai. Know that you've got one here in the south of France. Um, yeah, and there, were, there was an, another moment when um, my real nearest and dearest friends rose up in my heart. And my God, the amount of love and gratitude and thankfulness that I felt for them and for, for mum and dad. So beautiful, real, real, I don't know if processes or practices are the, are the right words, becoming real, <laughs> like the velveteen rabbit, which was a story Pete read one night. That's it, I think. Yeah. This is Tilly, by the way. The ever-expanding, ever-growing dog. Yep. Okay, Done. see you all soon. And if we don't see or speak to you before, have a wonderful, wonderful Christmas. Bye.